What's up guys? This is Sonora Design and guess what? Today is going to be the best day ever because we're adding a Bluetooth module into that vintage amplifier on the back. I said in. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're gonna add this Bluetooth module here inside that vintage amplifier. If you want to keep your vintage amplifier because you love it or because it looks good or because it sounds amazing but it doesn't have a wireless capability. So we're going to open it and add it inside so it's practical and functional and give you some more versatility to connect your devices. I have this vintage amplifier here. It's a Kenwood amplifier. It's a 3500 model. What is it called again? Oh! I got the wrong one. That's not the Canwood. That's the Pioneer. Let's get the Canwood. Sorry about that. I got the right amplifier now. That's the Kenwood KA3500. It's in pretty good shape for its age. It looks amazing. And we're going to test it right now. So we can add our Bluetooth module and have a great wireless vintage amplifier. All right, guys, we got our amplifier here. I like a few scratches, but overall it's in such good condition. Everything seems to be working. So let's plug it in and test it. You guys can see it looks really new, right? It's pretty good. We're gonna connect those speakers and see how it is playing. <sighs> I'm gonna get some cables here, right? Right, right. It takes forever. I don't know if you guys watched last video. We built those speakers, the AIMS speakers, that we're gonna use to test this amplifier now. So we got left side. Okay. Okay, speakers are connected. Let's turn it on. It works pretty well. Everything works and it sounds really good. So we're gonna start opening it and check the space we have inside for our Bluetooth module and our power supply. All right guys, so we got here our vintage amplifier. You got here our Bluetooth module. You got here our power supply. We want to make sure we have space and an important thing on the back of the amplifier we have those switched and unswitched power outlets okay so we're gonna probably gonna use one of those we're not gonna plug the power supply on the outside we're gonna add it to the inside let's open it and see what's inside see how can we uh, add this thing plug it into the auxiliary input or turner because who has a turner today uh, so we might be able to use the turner input the switched power outlet and connect our bluetooth module inside i'm gonna try not to damage anything okay i promise open looks pretty clean so we got our transformer we got our power outlets here where we're gonna get our 110 volts for our power supply and we gotta figure out like where are we gonna attach the bluetooth module you know because the thing is it has to show on the grill because it has a green light and the green light shows when you're connected to the bluetooth or not so we have to see this green light blinking so we got our bluetooth module here it can be located around here. The back of the heat dissipator would be the best position to add the Bluetooth, okay? This might get a little hot when the amplifier is working, but we might have to make a bracket that attaches to this heat dissipator. Not get too close to the transformer or to the circuit board. Let's try and make a bracket so we can attach it here. Our power supply gotta go inside too. 
Let's find some room for the power supply. We can attach it here because we don't have to see the power supply. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to drill the heat sink and attach everything to the heat sink. I hope it doesn't get too hot. Uh, I don't know. Let's do it. So the thing is, I have this metal plate here, this metal piece. We are gonna measure the Bluetooth module here. It's gonna be attached on tip. We're gonna mark it here, fold this piece, cut it, and then we're gonna have this, okay? We're gonna have this metal plate. Let's do it. Bluetooth board here. We are gonna use the RCA, okay, to connect it to the amplifier. Can you see it? I gotta hide behind it. This goes to the tuner on our amplifier. We have the tuner RCA input, so we're just gonna solder it here. Let's see if it's gonna fit first. Oh, it's not gonna fit. So I have to cut the RCA cables and wire it directly. Guess what, guys? Let me show you. I have, I have a few boards here, so this is this is the, the board with the RCA plugs here, okay? So we're gonna remove these RCA plugs because they're on the way. And the board's gonna look like this, okay? I don't have a video, but I just desolder it. You guys don't have to desolder it if you're doing that, you know? Just keep it like this. We're gonna solder our RCA cables to the back of the board, okay? And solder it to the amplifier and attach our power supply and everything's gonna look amazing. Let's do it.
right, we got it. We have the Bluetooth board here installed, connected. We have like the, the power cable from our power supply. We have the RCA connected to the tuner. So when we select tuner, it's gonna be Bluetooth instead. And we just need the flange, the bracket to add the Bluetooth module. So that was easy, I guess. I'm gonna show like a close up so you guys can have an idea. So we connected our power supply to the switched power outlet okay we soldered those cables those go to the power supply they're connected here this is the outlet that's the 12 volt it goes all the way here and it feeds our board just plug it in our board RCA is connected to the tuner that's the tuner and we solder those cables here it should work Okay, so we got our amplifier ready and connected. Uh, we can start putting it together or not. Maybe we need that flange to hold our Bluetooth. And I gotta take care of this mess here. It's always a mess. I don't know why. Our amplifier is looking good. Now let's spray our flange. Let's make it black and get it ready, okay? Yeah. Just shake it and spray it. And it's gonna be dried in like 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Can you believe that? I don't believe it. Now let's wait for 15 minutes. It smells good in here. And our amplifier is gonna look good and sound amazing and be wireless. Can you believe it? This amplifier from, what is that? 1970s, early 80s, wireless. Wow, that's a touch of Bluetooth. That's the Bluetooth board. That's the power supply. Yeah. We're gonna plug it in. The Bluetooth board is gonna blink green. And then we'll be able to connect our phone. I mean, my phone. Oops. It's green. Maybe it's connected already. Okay. Connected. Now we're gonna need to test the sound. Do we have audio? Let's see. All right, guys, that's the amplifier. I'm gonna plug it in, connect it, and see if we have audio coming out, okay? Okay. It should work now. Okay. Right, go. It works. Let's put the grill on. First, you gotta unplug it. Alright guys, that's it. We have a vintage amplifier, vintage Kenwood amplifier with a Bluetooth port inside of the amplifier, which is the best. Because the one like add boxes, wires and cables around your vintage amplifier. If you wanna do that at home, it's pretty easy and quick and uh, I'll post the information about the Bluetooth board and the transformer, whatever, the parts I used in this project. If you like the video, please smash the like button right now, subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys soon.